someone needs to go to prison. This is the most ridiculous XRP price manipulation I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> the headline on your screen says it all from Coindesk. Bogus BlackRock XRP filing spoofs ETF watchers, crypto traders. And it, it, we've been talking about this in the community quite a bit, especially lately, because uh, not only is there, of course, a, a, well, a bunch of uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs that have applications that have been filed. Uh, more recently, we found out that there's uh, an ETF filed by BlackRock for, uh, for ETH. And so there's been also speculation. Well, what about XRP? Why hasn't that happened yet? And I explained why I didn't actually think it was probable, which is why when this news broke, I was really caught off guard. I was excited by it like everybody else was. And I believed it uh, because it came from reputable sources and because there's an actual filing. Like, the, the filing's real. It's just not. <laughs> like, the filing's real. It's just not by BlackRock. It's, it's an, somebody's got to go to prison, folks. But um, <laughs> I just... What a roller coaster of emotions, man. Over a span of like 15 minutes, my brain exploded like everybody's else, everybody else's. And then we find out that it's it's fake. I just, okay. But before, before going further, I'm going to run through everything with you. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics. But just as a hobby... And just for fun. So as I record this video, XRP is now 67 cents, but it ran up to 74.6 cents. For those of you looking at the screen right now, you can see it's a 24-hour uh, XRP chart, and that's quite a spike right here, and then right back down. So, so I posted this. I, I wrote, this is effing insane. Spot XRP ETF, here we come. I shared that on social media platform X. And um, and that was and so the, the what I reposted, actually... Uh, has been since deleted, and it was by uh, Eric Balkunas. Now, I want to know, Eric Balkunas, uh, where's his profile? Here we go. He is self-described as a senior ETF analyst for Bloomberg. So if there's anyone who's reputable, it's got to be this guy. And he's been reporting all sorts of stuff having to do with crypto ETFs. Um, and, and he is trustworthy. It's just, I understand, like, he got tricked, I got tricked, we all got tricked. So it's not like I'm mad about anybody that got tricked, but... Yes, of course we all believe this was real. And so here's what he posted. He wrote, BlackRock at it again has filed to register iShares XRP Trust, the precursor to an ETF filing. I thought it wasn't real when I saw others posting, but I just checked and it is in fact on the Delaware list of corporations website. Uh, so again, totally surprised when I saw that because I didn't think that it was probable for a number of reasons. I mean, obviously, so even though XRP has legal clarity and we know that, technically the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit is still ongoing technically. So there's that. Uh, then there's the fact that it's a much smaller market cap than, you know, ETH or Bitcoin, which to me is a positive because that represents a ton of opportunity for future price action. Uh, but so I was kind of skeptical that that would happen there. And uh, yet here it was. So... Um, then there was this update from Eric Balkunas, and he wrote, This is false. Confirmed by BlackRock by me. Some wacko must have added using BlackRock executive name, etc. Come on, man. And so again, he did his due diligence. It's just like if somebody actually files this thing and somehow gets away with that, which is still incredibly mind-blowing to me. Like, what are you going to do? Like, if, if the filing's there, like, what, just with no evidence, assume it's a lie? Now, ultimately, they did get in touch with BlackRock and they denied it, but it still makes me wonder because, like, the process of getting this approved, which I'll get to in just a second, uh, it's not sp supposed to be a walk in the park, you know? It's not supposed to be easy. Um, and so then I also posted this after it was found out to be false. I wrote, this is next-level manipulation. Someone needs to go to prison for a hot minute. They impacted the global price of XRP. So somebody, presumably anyway, uh, did this with the intent of making a mint, you know? Somebody made a, probably a lot of money. They knew what this would do. Obviously, it's gonna run the market up, so they probably loaded up on XRP and then sold the top. And that's just speculation, but what? Are people just doing this for like shits and grins? Maybe. Um, uh, take a look at this though. And this was shared by uh, Crypto Crackhead, and I came across this thanks to uh, Irish Red Crypto, who tagged me. Thank you very much, Irish Red, for uh, tagging me here. Um, Crypto Crackhead, that's a funny name, uh, wrote, if you search the site, it's actually there. Um, also, no one can just file an application on the Delaware site. There is a process to prevent these types of manipulations, uh, types of manipulation happen. And so here's the actual filing. It is there. It's a real thing. iShares XRP Trust, 
precursor to uh, spot uh, XRP ETF. And then there's also this. This is a screen grab from the website. First, the Delaware Division of Corporations requires all trust documents to be signed by the grantor, the person creating the trust, and by two witnesses. The trust document must also be notarized. This requirement makes it difficult to create a fake trust document without the grantor's knowledge or consent. So, folks, I, I just... I gotta ask, how did this happen then? If this is if this is really fake, as BlackRock BlackRock is asserting, how? Or is BlackRock lying and they actually did file it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna assume that's the case, but this is buck wild, right? This is cr- I've never seen XRP price manipulation like this. I've never seen anything like this. This is absolutely insane. So it, it's that's funny. It's like whether it's real or not real, it's ridiculous to me and insane either way. <laughs> like it's it's absolutely insane. Um, and then the blockchain backer also shared this. He wrote, um, out of all the times I've seen XLM move with XRP, this was the most bizarre. The fake news was literally XRP specific and would impact XRP only, not XLM. If anything, you'd expect XLM to sell off like the rest of the market. Instead, it mirrors. Why? Still makes no sense to this day. Yeah, and he's spot on there, obviously. It doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Uh, but it certainly is true that very frequently XRP and XLM just move in tandem because reasons, folks. Obviously, because reasons here. It's just an interesting observation. But yeah, here's the XLM chart. It looks about the same as XRP's. Pretty damn similar. <sighs> Let's jump into this piece now from Coindesk, and I'll share, you how, share with you what they reported here. But my God. Again, what a roller coaster of emotions. And And by the way, look. I will not be surprised to see a spot XRP ETF at some point in the future. It's just, if it were to actually happen right now, that's insane to me. That that was surprising. I was very much caught caught off guard by this, but is what it is. Uh, BlackRock is not attempting to launch an XRP exchange-traded fund, uh, the asset manager said Monday. A regulatory filing suggesting the company had taken a first step toward doing so is fake, a spokesperson said shortly after the news began circulating on social media. XRP's price jumped more than 10% at one point, but had already begun sinking back to its pre-news intraday price of around $0.65. BlackRock has previously filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to launch spot Bitcoin and Ether ETFs. Prior to those filings uh, were filings for a Delaware entity, which acts as the corporate vehicle for the product. Paperwork submitted Monday mimicked those forms, but was not in fact filed by the asset management giant. This is not the first time Delaware's corporate registration process has been abused, seemingly in an attempt to pump crypto prices. A pair of filings in 2021 suggested Grayscale, an asset manager, would launch trust vehicles for two tokens that Grayscale did not have plans for. Grayscale is a subsidiary of Coindesk, parent company Digital Currency Group. Speculators took hold on Monday afternoon as ETF watchers, including Bloomberg's Eric Balkunas, amplified the phony filing, presenting it as true. Media corporations, including Bankless and The Block, also recirculated the news, fueling buy pressure on XRP. But other informed observers expressed a high degree of doubt that BlackRock, hardly regarded as a risk taker in crypto, would even think about creating an ETF product for XRP, which is the subject of active litigation with the SEC. Which is certainly a fair enough point. And so I apologize because I amplified it as well. But I mean, why would I not believe an actual filing on the damn website? Like, I I get it. We were all tricked. I was tricked for sure. But I just, I'm not going to blame myself or anybody else for being tricked. Somebody deceived us out there and they they did a good job of that. They definitely manipulated the price of XRP. Which is why I thought it was funny when, I think I have this pulled up. Yeah, my fellow XRP YouTuber Alex Cobb posted, I am going to get drunk to cope with what just happened. So I wrote, yup. I, re- I actually reposted that. And I wrote, to alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. That's a Homer Simpson quote for y'all. <laughs> Damn it. How is this real life? I don't know. I just got to take it in stride. I mean, like, all we can do is laugh about it. I mean, it is what it is, man. <sighs> Tell me how it went for you. Were you guys all pumped? Like, and, and did you fall for it like me or were you not tricked? Because I'm admitting, like, I was totally tricked by this. But again, I think it's reasonable to be tricked given, like, there's a real filing. <laughs> like, what, I'm just not going to believe the filing? So, I mean, I thought it was ridiculous. Like, I was very surprised by this because this is not something that I thought was going to happen. So, you know, the fact that I found out that I was tricked, I'm like, yeah, okay. It is what it is, folks. All right, I'm going to wrap up here. Just let me know what you think. This is stupid as hell, though. This is the dumbest damn thing. 
I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo!